All right, I'm sitting back here with Katie. What's up? Uh, my birthday was two days ago. Two days ago? I guess, wait, the 19th. 19th, yeah, all right. Yeah, that's two days ago. How old were you? 39. Oh, happy birthday. So what's new? You're uh, having a hard time out here still, huh? Still here? Yeah. Uh, nothing's new, I guess. Same shit. Same shit. <laughs> um, how's your sores? Um, I have a couple more on my feet and I'm starting to get an abscess right here on my neck. See. It's the beginning of one. It's popped once already. Okay. That's where you've been going at? Yeah, I can't. I can't hit any other greens. Only my feet, but I miss too much in them, and then I get sores like this. Oh, okay. So. so those are the only two places you can go? Yeah. Um, yeah. And are you paying people to do that? Yeah. So every time I get high, I got to pay an extra $5 on top of it or an extra bag or something to get somebody to hit me. Oh, so that's what the going rate is, is like a $5 or whatever? Yeah, a bag of rock, you know, typically it's $5, but people will do it for three or sometimes they'll look out for it, but, you know, that's another big hustle out here, so. Yeah, I get, that does sound like a, a money-making scheme, especially if you're good at it, I they, guess. They can make a lot of money. Yeah. Like baby's dad started doing it for a little bit. Like, they can make a decent amount of money. Yeah. So, are you still staying out on the street, or or do you get a um, a shelter bed or anything like that yet? <laughs> no, I, I mean you would think that I would do that, but I swear to God, in my head every day I'm going to rehab. Yeah. So the idea of getting on like a housing list or something out here seems counterproductive, but months later I'm still out here. So. All right. So so in your head you're saying I'm not gonna sign up for housing because I'm going to rehab, but you're not going to rehab, so it's... But I never make it there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I told you off air, that was like my life for the last couple of years of, um, of my addiction was, I mean, every day I was fully convinced I was ready to go, you know? Yeah, it's crazy. They have these YouTube channels that feed live on us. Yeah, did you see that? That's crazy. Uh, yeah. Does everyone down here know about them now? I, like, within the last two weeks, everybody found out. I don't know, like, how. I had heard about it a couple months before that, but I didn't believe it. I yeah. Didn't believe it. I, you can see where the camera is, yeah, right? Yeah, there's one at the park, and there's one right on Clearfield, like, where we're at. Oh, really? Yeah. I wonder if they're going to start ripping, people are going to try and rip them down or anything. Oh, uh, it's crazy. If they see you recording, they'll throw all types of shit at your car. They'll yeah, chase oh, I know. you with cold and Absolutely, shit. yeah. I know that on a couple of YouTube videos, people have told me that I'm like the front thing. I'm cursing bread out or this or that. I know well, I hate on that, Instagram. Yeah. On that live? Yeah, thing. like uh, the Kensington Beach or whatever videos they put up. Yeah. They're getting thousands of hits within hours. I know, I know, I know. It's crazy. Like, I don't like to show you it's guys sick. nodding out <laughs> or shooting up or something. And it's like, but you watch the videos that do it, and they're, they're the ones getting the millions of views you know people I guess it's probably just so unbelievable for people who don't who don't live it yeah it is hard to like wrap your head around it down here you know I just went to Baltimore for the weekend to see you know what's going on down there and I Baltimore was like this is it not no and not at all um I mean there are sections and uh, just me viewing it, you know, as an outsider down there, like, there's so many abandoned houses down there that everyone goes in those to get high, you know what I mean? So there's no open air getting high like there is here. Um, it just seemed a lot more organized in Baltimore. And it seemed like people didn't give up. Like, when I talk to people down here, it's like they've given up. You know, and I, I'm not trying to call you out. It's almost when I, it's when I talk to you and I hear the despair in your voice. It's like you almost have given up, and that's uh, that's scary sometimes. Yeah, I heard I became an aunt the other day. An aunt. Okay. Because my brother had his daughter, and then um, my other brother had eight months clean. 
right now. There's three of us. Um, so he's got eight months clean right now? Yeah, there's three of us, and my oh, two brothers awesome. and me, and uh, it's always one of us is always out used, and right now both my brothers are clean, and uh, I'm the only one that's not. My mom and my dad are both clean, too. Wow. So you could do it. You just got to, you know, and, and we were just talking, and one, one of the things that you're scared of is being alone, right, once you get clean? Yeah, I destroyed everything. Well, do you think your your family would, you know, be back and support you if you got clean? Eventually, but it would take a long, long time. Yeah. I miss my kids. I'm afraid my son's old enough to find these videos now. Yeah. Now, I showed you the picture of Jess, eight months clean. Does that give you hope at all? Yeah, it definitely does. I never... Because you knew her out here. Yeah, I never would have thought. I, I didn't think she was ever going to... Um... She looks amazing, like... Doesn't she? She's got, like, the healthy weight on, you know what I mean? She's Doesn't smiling. Doesn't look like the same person. Uh, yeah. When I, when I first saw her, you know, after she'd been clean that long, when she walked up to my car, I didn't even recognize her, honestly. I was uh, pretty impressed. So, I mean, that, that just shows you you could do it, right? I mean, I, I she was just as bad in this situation down here than, as you are, if not worse, with her, I'd say a lot, lot worse with her leg, you know? Or is a, um, it should give you hope. I think you can do it. You just gotta. I hope so. If any of my family sees this, Caleb, mommy loves you so, so much. Mm. And, uh, hopefully I'll be out of here soon. When was the last time you tried treatment? At least when in? Uh, when I was pregnant with my son, AJ. And I was in Liberté for when COVID came out. Um, okay. So you I do know the co the Liberté program and all that then? I've been in 17 rehab. <laughs> Sounds like you sound like me. <laughs> I don't think there's a Mommy and Me program I haven't been in. No, there's one. Um, the one through Jefferson. I've never been in my sister's place, but mm -hmm. every other one I've been in Gardenzia. I've been in Halfway Houses. I've been in Detoxes. I've been in Valley Forge. I've been in Eagleville. I've been everywhere. So you know the uh, you know the rehab shuffle or the what you got to do. Um, ha have you detoxed completely off this trank stuff yet? No, and I'm I am a little bit scared about that. Mm -hmm. um, seeing like how people the, the things they're having to treat that people are really are like, going through severe withdrawal from coming off of the trank. Yeah, yeah. They um they uh well. Jess said it was bad for about two days. Um, and then she said they offered her ketamine. And she did it once, and, and then she, she said she didn't even really need it or whatever, and it, 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 she got through. It wasn't that bad after, like, the... She said she didn't know if the first two days was just, like, the... I mean, she had physical, but she, think, she thinks it was a lot of her, like, mental stuff, too, you know, in her head. All right. I appreciate you doing this follow-up. Um... Hopefully we can uh, do an interview with you and Nia uh, sober, like I did with Jess soon. Hopefully, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> we we did one and um, we went to the uh, uh, the wharf in Bristol. Met with Jess there. Walked. Were you ever go up there? Yeah, yeah. I lived in Levittown for a while. No, that's right. That's right. I think everyone in this area had to go up to Levittown <laughs> at some point. <laughs> did you go uh, recovery house up there? I have. Uh, yeah. My mom and my grandma lived there too, so. Oh, okay. I don't just associate it with the recovery houses, oh. but I've definitely done my spin through the houses down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. All right, well, Jess, I, I'm. What the hell did I just call you? You called me Jess. Jesus. Katie, I wish you the best, <laughs> Katie. I hope everything, you know, works out. Yeah, me too. <laughs> All right, and congrats on coming to, what is it? Aunt. Aunt? Yeah. Aunt, yeah. I hope you can get clean so you can go enjoy your family. I know. I love you, Sean and Emily. I'm sure she's beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right.